Okay, uh, in this video, basically, uh, I'm going to show you some analysis on uh, on a recent coronavirus data set that is uh, spread out there everywhere. Um, um, th the purpose of this video is just to show you some analysis techniques. Actually, I was doing this analysis on 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 a real data set that is downloaded from Kaggle. The the Kaggle has uh, actually collected this data set from from all the countries and this data set is basically the data set of different victims uh, since 16th March. It, it started from 22nd January and it goes all the way up to uh, 16th March. And different countries actually, uh, all the data of different country, the data um, of how many confirmed cases in uh, in each country of and in each state, how many confirmed cases at this particular date were there and then how many deaths were there and how many recovered were there. As the dates move on, the confirmed cases, they start increasing, the deaths increased, the recovered also increased and so on. So different uh, countries, uh, almost 171 countries uh, in this data set. Although um, today uh, the total number of countries are even increased than, uh, than this, but this data set uh, was downloaded um, uh, and and uh, 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 some days ago, and the data set was updated till 16th March. So um, let us just uh, do some analysis on this, this data set. For example, what is the trend of uh, confirmed, uh, uh, what is the trend of new patients that are being confirmed as the dates are increasing for each, uh, for each country separately? And then we will see overall in the world, what is the trend of confirmed cases in, 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 in what way the um, more and more patients are being confirmed and what is the trend of deaths and recovered and so on. Um, so uh, we, we, are not, we are not using any neural network uh, in this particular uh, data analysis, although in, in another video we will, we will use a regression to, to, actually, uh, to actually analyze uh, another coronavirus uh, data set file. Uh, but in this particular video, we are just going to analyze the trends of uh, how these uh, new patients are being confirmed. What is the trend of deaths, and what is the trend of recovered? So uh, let's 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 load this data set using pandas. Uh, so we will be needing uh, matplotlib for plotting. We will be needing pandas for for loading uh, and playing with the data. We will be using numpy somewhere, and uh, we will also be needing this simple imputer wherever there are. The, the missing values, we will impute the missing values by a fixed constant. Uh, we could have written a code by ourselves, but scikit-learn actually um, gives us a tool to uh, impute the values that are missing. Uh, and in these real data sets, uh, several attributes of several, several records are indeed missing. So let's first uh, load all the packages that we need, and uh, then we read this data set. Uh, this data set is located at this particular location uh, on, on my system. Uh, this R written before is just to uh, either reverse the backslashes or just make the two backslashes because that's the way the, the path is read by these pandas library. And then we have this head. So basically we have uh, the serial number as an attribute, observation date, province, state, country, uh, last update when... Um, and how many confirms and deaths and recovered and so on. So I have just showing here five, um, the, the first five uh, records. And then uh, what we can do is uh, we can just drop this serial number. We can drop the last update value. Um, I guess they are not needed. Further, let's, let's, let's rename the columns observation date to date uh, by df.rename function. And uh, let's change the province slash state uh, column name to state and let's just change country slash region to country and in place true means all this should happen inside this uh, data frame so and further this uh, this date value is not actually in pandas date uh, format so let's convert this date column to the actual pandas um, uh, format and now uh, wherever there is uh, there is a missing value 
what we really do is to actually impute the missing value with some constant. So let's let's use a simple imputer to do that. And uh, we have now df2 with all imputed values. Um, third, let's apply a query. Let's group all these records with respect to date and then a country. So first, the date will appear first, then the country, so all dates in all countries. And we need these kind of columns, date, country, confirmed, deaths, recovered, and all these. So we can apply that. We, we can also group all these by such that the first first all, uh, first uh, uh, one country and all its states, then another country, all its state, and so on. So, for example, if you do, uh, the, if we if you apply this query, so the result might look like so. For example, um, this, that, that, and so let's have uh, head. Let's say ten. Um. So, for example, you can see. Uh, um, Azerbaijan um, then as if there were other records of Azerbaijan they should appear first then this country then Afghanistan all its records and then if we have more countries for example if I use this head for 20 uh, I can have uh, oh I have actually several records of Afghanistan so basically uh, this command has done uh, has, has sorted all my records with respect to the countries um, after that what I can do I can just find out how many how many countries are actually there. Uh, so total number of unique countries are can be found by this command df3 uh, with column country, how many uniques are there, length of those are 171. Um, in the next code, what I'm going to do is I will pick each country and um, I will add up all its, uh, so I will pick each country and I will add up all its provinces, confirmed cases to one date and then all uh, confirmed cases to another date similarly or recovered cases to and all de death cases. So all for each country I will add up all the cases for different provinces and that are con confirmed, recovered and uh, died and we will plot these uh, for each country separately. So basically uh, this code will will actually plot um, will actually plot uh, the trends uh, of confirmed recoveries and deaths for each country independently. Um, so, so first of all, I will pick, uh, I will apply a loop for all the countries, uh, and then I will pick, I will see uh, if the country is. So, I will enumerate the countries one by one, and then I will pick the country and see what is, what are the confirmed, what are the recovered, and what are the deaths for all the prevences, and then I will, using matplotlib, I will plot them by setting the title to the country name. X label is the total number of days since the first suspect or the first. Um, appearance of 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 a patient from that country, and the Y label is the number of cases so far to date. And then I will show the legend, and because it is going to plot one one seventy one plot, so it will it is going to take a while. So let's see how it actually does. So let's see, for example, for Azerbaijan, for Azerbaijan there is only um, there is only one confirmed case and one death uh, for uh, this particular country, S.T. Martin or record, uh, there is only a few, but uh, one. But for Afghanistan, for example, starting from the very first day, as you can see, the, the confirmed cases, they are they are actually increasing. As as the days are going on, the confirmed cases are decreasing. Uh, increasing, uh, there is a recovered case as well, the total number of recovered cases, and the deaths, uh, I guess, uh, so far in this data set, they, they did not observe. Uh, similarly, if you see Albania, um, the the rate of growth of confirmed cases with day is 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 a bit high. Uh, similarly, we can see this for uh, Andorra. We can see this for the, that country, Argentina, and America, um, uh, Armenia, and uh, Aruba, and Australia. Oh, the uh, the Australia is basically uh, for the for the beginning of the first 40 days uh, I mean their confirmed cases were not that big but then after 40 days the confirmed confirmed cases they start growing and uh, the recovered cases they are not that growing much so um, I guess today Australia maybe uh, actually the data set is still 16th of March and the, the, the growth rate actually is showing that the Australia is in danger um, similarly Austria and uh, Azerbaijan and 
so all these countries, I mean, uh, uh, oh, this this Belgium is actually oh, that, that's a, that's a bad thing. Uh, but the the confirmed cases for Belgium are actually growing. Um, let's see, for example, uh, Brazil um, and this is uh, Cambodia and Canada. Oh, the Canada also um, like like Australia uh, for the first thirty or forty days it. It, they were they were controlling everything, but then uh, things are exploding up. Um, you can just see, but just the last ten days, from forty to fifty days, um, the the number of confirmed cases they they give they they, they become very high uh, as compared to the previous cases. Um, similarly, we have Colombia, we have uh, several other. So that's the um, these are all the trends for all different countries individually. Uh, Denmark, this, Egypt. Um, uh, let me just move on. Oh, Finland is also in trouble. Uh, the the number of confirmed cases are growing up. Um, the reason I'm saying that because when the number of confirmed cases are growing up, the the chances are high that there will be more deaths. Although it 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 shouldn't happen, but in France, let's see. For example, in France. Um, the total number of confirmed cases in the last uh, 10 days are uh, grow from, let's say, uh, 500 maybe to, to 6,000. I'm more than 6,000. Just in 10 days, you can see uh, the, the France, basically, it, the, the graph shows that the France is in big danger. Um, this graph is for till 16th March. This is data till 16th March. So till 16th March, the France really is in danger. And the trend says that it is it may be going to worst. Um, similarly, Georgia and Germany is also in danger. Um, um, yes, uh, maybe we, we can look to, we can see the most, so Hong Kong, you can see um, the, the Hong Kong actually is performing well in, in terms of the recovered rates. Um, although the, there are, the confirmed cases are growing, but the recovery is also growing up. And death is not growing that much, so that's a good news uh, relatively for Hong Kong. Um, uh, so India, the for, for India, the the confirmed cases also also growing. That's uh, that's a bad news. Uh, Iran, oh oh my God, Iran is really in trouble. You can see that even after the the first ten days of the first suspect, the the confirmed cases start growing and they are growing in thousands. And in just first 25 days, they have more than 14,000 uh, confirmed cases with a very few uh, recovered ones. And there are deaths as well uh, because the, the graph of death is also uh, pulling up. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Israel is uh, looks like in, in trouble because um, the, the graph is growing up. The Italy, the Italy is in a really bad situation. You can see after the first 30 days, the, the graph just moves very, just in the last 10 days, uh, they actually go from a few hundreds to more than 25,000 confirmed cases. Um, that's a bad news. Uh, Japan, uh, similarly, you can see. So uh, you, you can see all the graphs here for each country individually, um, uh, for Malaysia, and this is for China. For example, you can see there the confirmed cases first, first grow up, but then they, they, they start somehow recovering that and uh, controlling that, and then they just decline. And now the no more new, I mean, the graph is actually sh showing as days are increasing, the new confirmed cases are, are very few or negligible, and further, the recovered cases are also uh, increasing. Uh, so that's uh, uh, that shows that the China has somehow controlled the, the, the spread of it. So uh, that's about the uh, plotting, uh, the an analysis with respect to each country. Um, if we now see the analysis with respect to date and see uh, the, the, the trend overall over the world. So for example, at the first date, what was the total number of confirmed and death and recovered cases all over the world? Then uh, this query will be helpful, DF3 group by date. So we will group all the data with respect to date. Um, and combine the rest. And if we see, for example, the, the trend of the overall trend in the world, then the um, then the confirmed cases overall in the world 
they start increasing then a decline or or let's say a slow slope but then they blow up again and the recovered cases are also following up but not that big uh, fortunately till till 16th march it shows that the death rate is relatively uh, slow and we pray and we hope that the death rate stays slow so um, this was kind of um, analysis on uh, the Kaggle data set of that that's a real data set collected from from the world and i was and i was doing some analysis on that so i i just i just felt it um beneficial to share the this analysis with you as well um in the next video we will we will be going to see another uh file from the coronavirus data set and we will we will be going to predict the um predict the um total number of confirmed cases and total number of uh, for example, recovered cases based on the previous history of of a particular country. So, um, hope to see you in the in the next video. Mm -hmm.